SKS Smart Science. Hello everyone. This is Sankirtana, MSc B.Ed. Welcome to SK Smart Science. This video is for third grade to fifth grade students. This video helps them to better understand and remember the process of germination. So let's start our topic. First topic: growing of a seed into a new plant, which is also called as germination process. To better understand the germination process, I have divided. into few chapters so the first chapter is a seed <coughs> this is the diagram of a seed so in this chapter you are going to learn about what is a seed what are the favorable conditions of a seed and third classification of a seed so let's go with our first topic what is a seed This picture helps you to remember the definition very easily. Here is the definition. Let me read out once. A seed is a living thing that grows into a new plant under favorable conditions. This is a seed. The seed is a living thing that grows into a new bean plant. It's a bean seed, so it grows into a new bean plant under favorable conditions. So what are those favorable conditions? which are required for a seed to grow into a new plant there are five favorable conditions which helps a seed to grow into a new plant those are sunlight water sufficient air nutrients in soil less competition from other seeds these are the five components or the five favorable conditions or five factors affecting the seed to grow into a new plant in the absence of at least if there is absence of any one from these five a seed cannot germinate and it cannot settle and it cannot become a new plant so these five favorable conditions are very important for a seed to grow into a new plant now we understood how a seed grows into a new plant but children do you know where can we find seeds yes we are talking about the seeds the chapter is about seeds so have you ever saw the seeds in your daily life yes of course you might have saw them but where did you see we can find seeds in fruits here are some examples given a few fruits in which you can find seeds these are all seeds present inside the fruits here are some examples and our last topic is classification of a seed a seed is mainly divided into two types based on eating habits means we will eat them seeds which we eat are called as edible seeds and the seeds which we do not eat are called non edible seeds examples of edible seeds are rice and pomegranate whereas examples of non edible fruits are apple and watermelon this is the first classification of a seed based on eating habits of a seed and a second classification is based on number of seeds in the fruit as i showed you in this picture previous picture here you can see a single seed here and here are many seeds whereas in this case very few seeds based on the numbering of the seeds present in those fruits seeds are divided into three categories first one is one seed fruit means in that fruit there will be only one seed example is mango which is a common example and lovable tastiest fruit which we like to eat in the summer right yes and and the second category is few seeds example is apple apple is very healthy it it gives us iron so in apple we can we see only few seeds whereas coming to the melon that is watermelon will fall under the category of many seeds so based on the number of seeds in a fruit 
seeds are divided into three categories one seed few seeds many seeds example of a one seed is mango example of a few seeds is apple example of a many seeds is watermelon and we entered into the summary of the chapter as we completed our chapter here are the points which we discussed so first point we discussed is the definition of a seed a seed is a living thing that grows into a new plant under favorable conditions and what are those favorable conditions those are sunlight water air and nutrients in soil less competition from other seeds and third point which we discussed is under first classification seeds are divided into two types first one edible seeds example pomegranate second category is non edible seeds example apple and fourth point under second classification seeds are again divided into three types first one one seed fruit example mango second one few seeds fruits example apple and thirdly many seeds fruits example watermelon hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to post your, suge your suggestions and comments thank you sks smart science